Chapter 4! <laughs> Club Titty Boo. Oh boy. So, yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome yourself back to another part of my Mother 3 series. We have finally made it to Chapter 4. Keep in mind this game has 8 chapters. And I know you're thinking, wow, we're already halfway through this game? You could not be any more wrong, but here we are now, 3 years later in Tazmilly Village. Um, as you can see, a lot has changed. Quite a lot. It's it's like maybe too much change, really. But, as I was saying, you might be thinking, well, there's 8 chapters in the game and you're in chapter 4. It's, you're halfway through the game, right? Nope. From chapter 4 to chapter 8, it's a pretty fucking huge part of the game. Like, it's crazy how much it actually is. And honestly, I'd consider, like, I've never really considered the first three chapters to be, like, really a part of the main game for multiple reasons. Most of it has to do with the simple fact that you don't even play as Lucas, the main character. So, for the most part, I do consider those first three chapters of the games more so, like, um, you know, setting up the world and everything, and it's not really, like, the, the full-fledged game that, you know, you're, you're playing. But when you finally make it to chapter four, that's when I fully consider the game to be just on its way and uh, up and running, I guess. But yeah, I mean, the good thing and smart thing about doing it like that and not introducing you to everything immediately is it does give you time to actually get used to basically everything in this game. You know, by this point, there's no way you don't understand mechanics. There's no way you don't understand psychic abilities, which Lucas has. There's no way you don't under well, actually, no, he doesn't have one. He doesn't have any right now. He gets some later. You'll, you'll, you'll see as we go along, but yeah, no, you're you're introduced to and should know everything that you need to really know by this point. So now it's more so just, you know, doing your own thing. Now, one little detail that I like that they included is within those three years, Lucas has grown. Uh, he, he's grown like he's a bit taller. You know, sadly, you can't really show that too much with pixels. You know, he's, he's gotten like two, three pixels taller or so. But yeah. He's no longer a little baby boy, he is now Big Boy Lucas. And I guess we'll just be on our way. Oh. Hello. Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. The fuck? <laughs> lightning is scary, and then he smiles. That's, that's a little weird, but... I got charred black, and then... Uh, okay, that's fucking weird. Hey, Boney, how you doing, boy? I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. <laughs> yes! Okay, Boney is taking us for a walk. Oh my god. I <laughs> uh, you know... Boney, Boney just always has to be taking his humans around, you know, they're, they're so fucking needy, but... Hey, uh, hey, you there, boy! I realize that this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. Oh yeah, I kinda gave it away by pulling up the... You know, status and everything, but you, you might notice something a little different there that'll be explained right now. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for or for your hard work. Uh, it'll be given in units called DP, Dragon Power. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can't conduct DP transactions, though. Should I explain that again? Nope. Alright then, let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Hop, do you need something? Yes, yes, yes. Now, of course, now you're given the option to either save or DP, or uh, DP stuff. Now, of course, I can't save because of my stupid fucking ROM, but we can, uh, we can deposit or take out some DP, rather, if we want, so... Let's see... May as well. Maybe we'll get as much as I can. Now, th the way this works is, and this might be easier to explain to people who have played Earthbound, but when you defeat enemies, you are not rewarded DP. It it's basically like, you technically do earn it, but you don't earn it directly uh, to yourself. So in Earthbound, you would defeat enemies and it would go straight to your ATM. Here, it's, here the frog DP stuff is basically your ATM. So just keep in mind. Or just keep that in mind, rather. If you've played Earthbound. If not, just it's it's just simply boom. You defeat an enemy, all your rewarded DP goes to your little frog friends. But hello! You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all this. So this is Millie's famous lightning house? It really is incredible. It's definitely worth coming all the way here to see. 
Jesus Christ, okay. A little weird, a little wild, but whatever. Let's see, anything uh, around here? Nope. If I'm not mistaken, there was a little present there back in the day, but now it's gone, so... Oh, we got, we got a road, huh? Okay. Now, as you can see, everything's all modernized, and... Sadly, because of this... You know, that's why DP exists. DP is now our currency. I mentioned this a while back, but, you know... Back before uh, Tasmili became a bit more civilized, you know, everything was free. You didn't need to pay for anything or anything of that sort. Now you need to pay for everything! So I do hope you got used to, you know, free stuff all you could. If I'm perfectly honest, I... <sighs> I don't like this updated theme. It's it's like I get it. Yeah, it's supposed to be all modern and stuff, but god fucking damn I hate it um, But yeah, it's like it's weird because the music kind of adds to the the subtle eeriness and just unsettling feeling that you would hopefully and more than likely would be getting from such a like Such an old style place being turned into such a modern place Hello there though uh, did you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Huh? What? Am I talking about myself? No, of course not. I'm talking about Taz Millie. No, she's talking about herself because she's fucking full of herself. Hey, buddy! My dad is working over at the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Uh, would you like to buy something? Uh, sure. Oh, man, look at all these stuff that I can't fucking afford. God damn it, I'm gonna... Okay. So this stuff I'm gonna need to fucking buy, because it would be nice to have something uh, that would, you know, would be better than what we currently have equipped, which is an easy grip stick and a mini mini charm. What about you, Bonnie? Do you have anything equipped? The white collar. That's... <laughs> well, at least it's not a blue collar, <laughs> but okay. Uh, at least this theme is good, I guess, but... Yeah, no, every- like I said, you have to pay for fucking everything. If you want to stay in the end, gotta pay for it. Hey, I've never actually noticed that this was here. What the fuck is this? Trivia card one. Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So I'm not going after these, but... There's a whole bunch of little trivia cards scattered throughout this game. And if I'm not mistaken, there there is something you can get for it. I don't remember if it's just simply like a little kind of completion sort of deal thing. Uh, or just simply whatever. But I'm personally not going after it, mostly because, you know, I, I don't really care that much. Like... I'm just going for the ending of the game and everything, but... Oh god, it's facade. But, uh, that's there if you want it. Uh, don't expect to find the trivia cards very easily. Oh my god! <laughs> can, can he... Okay, he can't... No, 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 oh... I'm, I'm sorry, Frog, I must move. Uh, I was gonna say, like... Don't expect to find the trivia cards too easily. How are you doing, Frog? Hop, do you need something? Oh, I was hoping you'd say something different. God damn it, dude. Alright, but hey, facade, how you doing, buddy? He's ignoring you. Oh, fuck off. What about you, lady? Oh, hey there, Lucas. Hey, your dad's still hiking up in the mountains looking for Lucas. You should really tell your or tell him yourself that it's about that it's about time to or it's about time he gave up already. Well then, oh hello there, Lucas. You look a bit down in the dumps. Happy Box could really change your life, you know. Eh. Oh, Lucas. Hi. That wow. That is such thought out, such inspiring text, but. Whenever I listen to Mr. Facade talk, I suddenly want everything. It's almost like he's a magician. <laughs> Foreshadowing. I'm not gonna mention a goddamn thing because that'll be spoilers, but to people who have already played this game, they know exactly what I'm talking about, but Old Man Wiss is definitely going to go bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. What are you... Oh, oh, so what he said was, I could talk about non-map stuff too, you know? <laughs> and then he mentions that. Well, maps and at least, at least you can talk about non-map stuff. Hello. Is there anyone who puts money in this thing? Because I just did anyway. What is this? You have extra money, please put it here. From your trustworthy and benevolent mayor pusher. The fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this fancy car? Who is... Is there a mayor? Oh, hello. Oh, Lucas. Your, your house certainly enjoys being struck by, or struck by lightning, I must say. Do you still intend to live in it after all the fires and scorching and whatnot? I must admit, it's a real downer on Tasmanly Village's image. Oh, yes, yes. Your maternal grandfather has moved into a shiny new retirement home. Where is it? Uh, across that, or across the way, that way. Up here? I just forget. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's, uh... Fucking, where is it? Hold on, hold on, who's this lady? 
What is with this flashy clothing? Oh, hello, Lucas. Don't bother Mr. Facade and the others too much now. Okay, fuck you. I'm going to do exactly that. Or is it? Isn't it over here? I'm pretty sure it is. I forget. E is this it? Special no Yep, I knew it. I almost forgot that they- Wait, wait, wait. Do the thunder- Does the whole thunder bomb still- Thing still apply? Yes, it does! Yes, perfect! But, uh, yeah, they turned, um... What's this house into a fucking retirement home, but... Hello. Oh, hello, Lucas. Oh, and Bunny, too. Your grandfather's is up- Or your grandfather's upstairs in the room on the far left. Alright. I'm here visiting my grandma. Uh, we play games like Pin the Tail on the Leak, Hide and Go Sweep, and the Hokey Pokey. Okay. Having your grandchildren visit is a true cause for happiness. Oh, I just realized there's this tiny little detail. The floor creaks. Okay, that's that's nice. I haven't seen Flynn all, uh, at all lately. How is he? I don't fucking know. What about okay? Who we got in here? We got Mike. Okay. Oh, Lucas. Did you come all the way here to see me? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to see me. But since you were nice enough to come see me, I'll give you a little spending money. It's not much, but here you go. Keep it a secret from my grandkids, though. Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot what... I didn't pick up on what he said. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit. Oh, no, I missed it. I forgot that line of dialogue, but it's, like, so fucking funny. God damn it! Oh, I miss everything good. But okay. Hey Wes, how you doing? That facade guy has screwed everything up in every way possible. What is he trying to do to this village? I don't know, but... Got a dove. That's a fancy shirt you have. I mean, it's the same shirt Lucas has always had, just like a different size, of course, so it actually fits him, but... Hey, hey Alec. Oh, Lucas, how have you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin, or hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically. But, oh, come on, one million times! I mean, I guess so, dude. Now, if I'm perfectly honest, I do not remember where specifically we have to go, so right now we're just sort of aimlessly wandering about, uh, trying to see what's all different in Tazmili here. Because as you can very clearly see, a lot has changed. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, what do we have on over here? What's this? What's this? Oh, Lucas, welcome! Fuel's been helping out uh, around the store lately. He's a real lifesaver. Oh, uh, are you here to buy something? What can I get you? The hell do you sell? Oh! Okay, so if we need anything of that sort. Alright, okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. What about you, buddy? What do you gotta say? Lightning struck Reggie's tent. But that's what he gets for not having a happy box. Oh, come on, man. Not Reggie. What did Reggie do to you? Okay, that's... What did Reggie do? No! Ah, oh, No, that's not cool. The lightning used to be Reggie's friend. But now the li or this lightning is bad to Reggie. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, that fucking... No, that's... That sucks. Pay attention now. Let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon homes of all bad guys. Alright. What about the little jail? Or- Oh, it's shares- Oh, they actually keep people there. I got busted for lar- or lars- Larceny? When all I did was pick up a doorknob I found lying on the ground. This isn't fair. Huh? Where's the doorknob now? How should I know? Maybe I- or maybe it was sent to the forensics lab or something. What about you? <laughs> Bow wow. It looks like I've been arrested. But I actually came here on my- or came in here on my own. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I thought they arrested a poor doggo, but no, 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 no. He, he clearly went there on his own because he wants to. Dolphin Ossicle. If I'm not mistaken, you can sell those for some money, but I forget to who or what. You hear a reggae rhythm. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's the only reaction to it. Just, ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I do believe you can just sell the Dolphin Ossicles for, like... It's something along the lines of 5 DP, so if you're if you're really desperate for currency and you don't want to fight enemies, there's always that option, I suppose, but you know what what fun is it in that in, in not fighting enemies, you know? What the what the hell's going on here? Notice! Beware of snakes. Please refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. <laughs> Greetings, lumber people. 
It was a little oddly specific, but okay. I guess we'll just uh, keep exploring on around here. I mean, I suppose one of the good things um, of the modernization of this place, or Tasmili rather, is the fact that, you know, there's a lot of cool little things here and there. What did you even say? In the old days, we sent letters by Dove. And now look at how we do things. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit crazy how much things have changed in Tasmili within the span of three years. Hello. That woman over there. She keeps looking my way. I wonder if she likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Where is she? Where's, where's the woman? Oh, there's the woman. Hello. That man over there. He keeps looking my way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> the exact same shit. Hello. Uh, this suit-shaped swimsuit's pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> I don't- I don't think that's how that works, what? It's appeared to be a pig mask shoes. And then you got a pig over here. Hello, pig. Oink. When I just lie here like this, I can forget all the bad- or forget about all the bad things in life. Okay. I mean, you're a pig, but- uh, okay. What do we got in here? I'll take your dog for a walk. You must really think you're someone special. Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know? Uh, fuck you? <laughs> oh, Lucas! You still don't have a happy box at home? Uh, of course not, because I am not a loser, like you people. What about up here? So you got a happy box. Okay, this is, this is strange. How does this even work as a house? Oh god, I accidentally put up the map by accident. Alright, let's see, what else do we got? Just got that right there. There's something across the sea. Do you ever wonder about such things? Please call me anytime. Okay, that was a little out of nowhere, but okay, hello. It would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? No. Are you really sure? Everyone hates me, you know. They say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you serious you don't want to turn back now? Uh, don't turn back. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. It's not that I was bad at it or bad at it or anything. That's just how it was destined to be. Do you know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then it's cool. My destiny just didn't cross the destiny of trumpets. That's all. But thanks to my not taking up the trumpet, I can use the time I would have spent practicing it on other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah. I'll start something else, and who knows, maybe that'll turn out well. Maybe, like, maybe I could start practicing the, the Yanopi? What the fuck is that? Do you know what the Yanopi is? It's a proper term for a piano. What? I'm searching this shit up. Is, I, want, I want to see it. Piano proper term. Is that, is that actually... Is that actually the... Hold up. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. It, no, she's a fucking liar. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, what if I start practicing the Yenopi now, and I wind up being the greatest <laughs> Yenopius ever, charming the hearts of men the world over? If that happens, it me or it mean I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My fate still hasn't kissed the Yenopi's fate at a crosswalk just yet, but nobody knows what the future holds. Not even mole crickets, water striders, or horned owls. Hey, you smile. Yes, you really have a cute smile. You know that. So anyway, basically... Oh boy. You should have turned back when you had the chance! <laughs> Alright, who we got here? We got... This lady looks like, uh, what's her face? Venus from Earthbound. I almost forgot her name. That couple on the other bench has been really lovey lovey dovey dovey for a while now. But they just won't leave. I don't know what their deal is. Amor. That's love. Love. That's more. <laughs> okay. That was a little basic. I was expecting something else, but no, that, that's, that's it. Alright, cool, whatever. Okay, what, what a bunch of strange people, I must say. Alright. So we've explored just about everything around here. So uh, there's only one place left to go. Although I am still gonna have to, like, level grind a bit. Because, or not, not even really level grind, just grind for, like, DP and stuff, but... All right, let's see. Oh, what's going on here? Come on now, Jackie, get real. 
It can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen... No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh. Hey there, Lucas. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. There's there's this concert hall named <laughs> Club Titty Boo past the factory. And the bass player there kind of looks like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. But he looks just like him! I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure. But we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyways, time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. Well, see ya, Lucas. Tell Flynn I say hey, or hi. <laughs> All right, uh, but guess what, people? I know we have not been too productive with this part. More so, this has just been exploring around the new modern Tasmili. But of course, next part we'll actually be doing junk off camera. I will try and sort of grind for DP a little bit if I can. I don't remember if I'm actually able to access areas to fight enemies to do such a thing. But whatever. Regardless, hopefully you have enjoyed this part. If you have, be sure to drop a like as well as a comment. Be sure to subscribe. It really feeling, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>